Good morning, Miss Section. So our piece of writing, our writing task for today is going to be writing a list. And this isn't going to take you very long, but it's actually really important because what you're going to do today, you need to keep somewhere safe because you're going to need it next week for your final piece of writing. And as I like to call it in my class, I call it the donkey work. You're trying to do take all the hard bits out for next week. So what you're going to do today is really, really important and it'll be very helpful. So let's have a look at what a list is. So we use a list to help us remember tasks or ideas. So I've got a shopping list up here. Um, and this is taken from one of our games that we have at school. But I have a shopping list in my house. And when I run out of something, I write it down. Or the children write something down if there's something they've run out of. And here we've got a back to school to do list. So things we have to remember, maybe if you're starting school and you might need to get your uniform or get um, some new school shoes or get your hair cut. And lists can be really helpful because they they prevent you from having to remember everything and store it up in your brain. You can kind of think, oh, I must put that on my list. And, and then you don't have to kind of remember it. So they're really, really helpful to do. So we're going to do a list today that is going to, that we're going to use for next week. Um, it's going to be really helpful for our, our writing. Now, lists look different to writing sentences and to the labelling that we did last week. And let's have a look why. So each type of writing looks different. So here is a sentence. It says... I can see Batman in his Batmobile. And the reason it's, it's different because it writes all the way across the page. What you don't want is your writing to go down when you're writing a sentence. I can see Batman in his Batmobile. Now, when you write a sentence, you're telling somebody a piece of information. So if Mrs. Katumbra had drawn a picture of Batman and drawn him in his Batmobile and someone walked in, they might not be able to work out what my drawing was. They could use my sentence to help them. They go, oh, I can see you've done Batman in his Batmobile. So the sentence, when you write a sentence, it goes across the page. One word goes after another. Then we looked at labelling. Now, labelling, the words don't go across the page. They're all over the page because they're just telling you, again, some information, but it doesn't need to be written in sentences. So here we've got a dog and we've labelled the parts of his body. So his ear, his eye, his tail, paw, his mouth. And so the words don't need to be in a particular order. They are anywhere they on, on the page. And then you just draw a line to show which part of the body it is that you're labelling. So sentences go across and you keep writing. And when you get to the end, you go down to the next line and write across. Labelling is just words all over the page. But we're going to write a list today. So lists go down one word after another like this. So this is some ingredients for some uh, baking and a cake. So again, they write the, them down in a list because it's more easier to go, OK, what do I need first? I need some butter. So I get my butter first and I could tick it off my list. Or then I need some sugar. So again, get my sugar and I can tick it off my list. And that's why lists, when you write them, you put one word underneath the other. OK, because normally you're going in an order when you're writing. So last week we had to design a super veggie. And this is mine, Lucy Super Leak. So Mrs. Katungle, and I did draw this myself, I have drawn a leak. And you can see it's got a mask, it's got a cape, a belt. And then she's got some fast feet. And at the top of the leak, that's her water jet. OK, so as you can see, I've done some labelling here and I've got my words all around the page. Now, your task for today, and this is a set, this is going to take out the hard bit for you next week. Is your task is going to be thinking about the abilities, what powers your super veggie has. Now, this is up to you. There isn't any right or wrong. This is your super veggie. They could have 
anything. They might be able to go invisible. They might be able to shoot fire. They might be fast. Maybe they can fly. Maybe they can shoot ice or have frozen powers like Elsa. This is up to you. So you've got your super veggie and what you're going to do today is just make a list of the superpowers that your veggie has. Okay, so you might only have two things or you might have five things. But this is going to take the tricky bit out of next week's writing. So as I said, this is what I call the donkey work. This is the hard bit. Now, on my plan, I've already written a couple of the superpowers on there. So I'm going to show you my list. I've only got three things. So I know that my super veggie can run really fast. So I've put run fast. OK, I don't need to put it in a sentence. I just need this to remind me next week. Ah, oh, she can run fast, my veggie. And there's her fast feet. I know that she can shoot water okay shoot water um again because i've got a water jet at the top of my leak and i labeled that so i know that my super veggie can run fast she can shoot water so she can blast water so she's gonna be really helpful to put out fires or to blast baddies away and the last thing she's got a cape so i said that my super veggie can fly all right so i've only got three things on my list. Um, I'm not going to do lots and lots of superpowers. I've chosen the three best ones for my veggie. So as you can see, I've written the one under the other. I've got run fast, shoot water and fly. All right. And I'm going to keep my list somewhere safe because I'm going to need to use it next week for my final piece of work, my final piece of superhero writing. Right, so your task, look at your super veggie that you've drawn, okay? Look at your super veggie design. So whether you did a carrot or I've seen a brilliant Captain Red Cabbage, else have I seen? I've seen some carrots, I've seen some broccoli, I've seen some wonderful, lovely ones on tapestry. So look at your super veggie and then have a think about what their superpowers are. And again, remember for talking, for writing, talking is your key. So talk with your grown up about what your superpowers of your um, veggie are. OK, what are their abilities? What can they do? Like I said, talk about all these different ideas. Look at your super veggie. Has it got anything? Is it holding anything? Can it blast anything? Is there anything special in its belt? Can it shoot a signal out? Have a think about it then talk to your grown-up about it. Then you're just going to write down your superhero's powers, okay, in a list. So you're going to list them. And again, you don't have to do a whole page. Literally, you might have a couple of superpowers or you might have four or five superpowers. It's up to you. This is your super veggie. And again, grown-ups, again, you could do the shared write. The whole idea today is they get their ideas. So you can sound talk it together, have a go. You might write a sound, your grown up might write a sound. Or you might write the first part of the word, the bits that you can hear and the bits that you know, and your grown up, you can write the rest. OK. And again, once you've written that list, keep it somewhere safe because it's going to really help you next week. And when we get to our writing task next week, you can go, oh, well, I've done all the hard bit already because you've done the thinking of what abilities your superhero has and you've already written them down so you can copy the spelling all right so have a think as I said look think about it talk to your grown-up and then write down your list keep it safe okay and we're going to need it next week all right take care reception I'll see you soon <laughs>